The entire Jedi Order was brought down by a single command by Palpatine when he issued Order 66 to all of his clone troopers to betray their Jedi leaders, but not all of the clones obeyed. In canon, the clones had inhibitor chips in them which forced them to mindlessly obey Order 66. It is also implied that these same chips helped them cope with the fact that they just executed their longtime comrades and possibly even close friends. We know of only three clones who removed these chips, them being Captain Rex, Commander Wolf, and Commando Gregor. Although we don't know exactly when Wolf and Gregor removed their chips, we do know Rex removed his before Order 66 was issued. When Order 66 was given, Rex helped Ahsoka escape, and they later faked their deaths before splitting up and departing to live in exile. Rex eventually met up with Gregor and Wolf, where they ended up living inside a modified ATTE walker on Celos. They were later visited by the Ghost Crew, whom would ask for their assistance to fight the Empire. Initially, the clones refused, but after having a skirmish with the Empire and having their home, the ATTE, destroyed, Rex decided to join the Rebels. While Wolf and Gregor stayed behind and took the remaining ATAT -AT and transformed it into their new home. Then we have Commander Gray. Although he did initially obey Order 66, he did finally come around and began to question what he had done. This later led him to sacrifice himself by betraying his clone comrades and saving a Jedi Padawan named Caleb Doom, who would later change his name to become Kanan Juris. Last we have Clone Medic Kix. After witnessing Tup kill Jedi Master Tiplar, he was later confronted by Fives and was told the conspiracy of the plot to kill the Jedi before being asked to contact Anakin and Rex and have them privately meet with him. This contact with Fives led Kix to have his own questions on the matter leading him to investigate himself. His investigation eventually led him to discover the truth behind the biochips and the plot to destroy the Jedi. But before he got a chance to tell the Jedi, he was kidnapped by the Separatists, who placed him in a stasis pod for safekeeping before delivering him to Count Dooku. As the ship was transporting Kix, it got attacked by Republic forces. Desperate not to have Kix fall into the hands of the Republic, the droids on the ship decided to jump to a random coordinate in hyperspace in an attempt to escape. When they came out of hyperspace, they crash landed on a desert planet. Over time, the droids ran out of power and shut down, leaving Kix alone, frozen within the stasis pod. Fifty years later, Kix was discovered by Sidon Athano and his pirate crew. They released him from his stasis pod, to which Kix started to ramble about the Sith plot to destroy the Jedi, and how he needed to get back to Anakin Skywalker and the Republic. As this was happening, the ship they were in activated its remaining security defenses and the pirates were forced to escape the wreckage. After escaping, the pirates told Kix of how there was no longer a Republic, and explained to him what had happened over the last 50 years. Saddened over the fact that he was not able to save the Republic and the Jedi, Kix eventually joined Athano's pirate gang and helped them search for treasure across the galaxy. From what we know, he is the last surviving Jango Fett clone in the galaxy. And before we move on to Legends, we can safely assume that all clone deserters like Cut Laquain didn't obey Order 66 because they never would have received it. In Legends, the clones didn't have an inhibitor chip that forced them to comply with Order 66. Instead, they were engineered to be dependent to a command structure and were basically brainwashed to be loyal to the Republic. The first known clone trooper to disobey Order 66 was HOB-147. During a space battle, he was shot down and went unconscious, and he drifted in space within his starfighter. He was unconscious for several weeks and missed Order 66 when it was issued. He and his ship were later salvaged by Herd Coil, a scavenger who used reprogrammed Separatist battle droids to help him around. When HOB-147 finally came to, he was told of Order 66 by Coil. Initially, the clone believed he was captured by a Separatist, after witnessing the battle droids. After attacking the battle droids, he was tased and placed in a holding cell. While in the cell, a Jedi Padawan snuck in and mocked him, but she was quickly taken away from him by Coil and placed back into a storage room. Witnessing this, HOB-147 believed the scavenger was kidnapping Jedi Padawans. This propelled him to break out of his chains and find them. He eventually discovered the 11 Jedi Padawans hiding in the ship's storage room, all of whom attacked him after spotting him. But they stopped after seeing that he wasn't being hostile to them, and they later explained to him of what happened. While this was happening, Coil's ship was contacted by a group of clones who were inspecting suspicious cargo ships for possibly smuggled Jedi. But before the boarded clones got a chance to search the ship, HOB-147 came in for the rescue and told them about how Coil had saved him, and he had already searched the entire ship and found no Jedi. They believed him and left. 
It is unknown what happened to HOB-147 afterwards. Next, we have ABLE-1707, also simply known as Abel. He served under Shakti during the Clone Wars. During one of his missions, he was shot down and was eventually left stranded on an uninhabitable planet after his comrades were killed around him in battle. With no way of contacting the outside galaxy, he was forced to survive on his own for the next 20 years. It wouldn't be until after the Battle of Yavin took place that he would finally make contact with other people. A skirmish between the Rebels and the Empire took place on his planet near his campsite. Believing the Stormtroopers to be clones in new armor, he ran to them in his Phase 1 armor, but the Imperial officer believed him to be a Rebel trick, so he ordered his men to fire upon the clone. Abel was able to escape, but was left confused as to why they would attack him. He eventually ran into Luke Skywalker and Nara. Initially puzzled as to what was before him, Luke and Nara explained to the clone what had happened to the galaxy over the past 20 years, and now they were fighting the Empire that destroyed the Jedi. Luke proceeded to show the clone that he was a Jedi, just like the ones Abel fought with during the Clone Wars. This prompted Abel to join them and help them escape the planet from the Empire. After successfully escaping, Abel decided to join the Rebel Alliance and to work within the Alliance Intelligence Corps. The next group of clones were all commandos, meaning they possessed a higher ability of independent thought than the regular clones, allowing them to operate away from the more standard command structure and freely think more for themselves. First is Omega Squad, which was an elite commando unit. Members of this unit were Darman, Aiton, Fee, Kor, and Niner, the leader of the squad. When Order 66 was issued, Omega Squad did not comply as Darman, one of the commandos, had a relationship with Jedi Knight Eton Termu Khan. Omega Squad instead decided to desert the military with Cal Skirata, their Mandalorian instructor. However, their carefully laid plans to evacuate Coruscant were jeopardized when Termu Khan was killed during a skirmish, which also left Niner injured in the process. Afterwards, Aiton and Kor were able to escape to Mandalore with Skirata while Darman remained with the injured Niner. Unable to rejoin their brothers due to the establishment of the Galactic Empire, Darman and Niner were forced to remain commandos. They were combined with survivors of Galar Squad, becoming Squad 40 of the 501st Legion, where they were tasked in capturing surviving Jedi. Next is Ion Team, which was another unit of the clone commandos. It was attached to the 22nd Air Combat Wing. Members of this unit were Trace, Rods, an unnamed third member, and Captain Clymer, the leader of the team. When Order 66 was issued, Ion Team refused to execute Jedi Roan Shrine, Bol Chatak, and Oli Starstone, believing the Order to be a false enemy signal. They then saved the Jedi from being ambushed by forces of Commander Salvo by setting up a counter ambush and allowing the Jedi to escape. As a result, Darth Vader killed two members of the team, but Captain Clymer and Trace were able to escape to the forested hills of Mercana. Vader then ordered his men to hunt down the commandos and return them to him alive. After Vader decapitated Bol Chatak, a clone shock trooper informed him that the commandos had been apprehended. Vader sent them to be imprisoned on Aegon 9. Next is Ordo Skirata. He served as an advanced recon commando. Throughout his years as a soldier, Ordo questioned his purpose and criticized the Jedi for using a slave army to fight their war. Over the years of the war, he became less and less loyal to the Republic and the Jedi, while spending more and more time looking for a cure to his accelerated aging. When Order 66 was issued, he refused it. Ordo eventually witnessed Omega Squad try to smuggle Termu Khan off of Coruscant, but their plan to save her failed when they were discovered and a skirmish erupted, resulting in Termu Khan's death. Ordo tried to save her, but failed. Ordo would go on to desert the military and join Clan Skirata on Mandalore. From there, he continued his search for a cure for his accelerated aging. Last is Alpha-26, also known as Maze. He was an Alpha-class advanced recon commando captain. Maze was stationed on Coruscant for most of the war, assisting Jedi General Arligan Zay. Maze developed a grudge against Ordo after being beat up by him after he attempted to lecture Ordo to obey Jedi generals. As the war progressed, Maze used his downtime to read and develop strong opinions about the state of the Republic. While no fan of the political leadership under Palpatine, he thought the Jedi should not interfere as they were not elected. 
During the Great Jedi Purge, Maze returned to the Special Operations Brigade headquarters to find Ordo and General Zay talking about the events leading to the Purge. Ordo demanded to know from a wounded Zay if the Jedi did indeed try to overthrow Palpatine. Zay admitted as much, stating that it was his duty as Palpatine revealed himself to be a Sith Lord, known as Darth Sidious. Maze wondered what the Sith were, and Ordo explained that they were the exact opposite of the Jedi. After Ordo left, Zay would order Maze to execute him, knowing what would happen if he were captured. Maze did not comply and missed Zay on purpose, giving Ordo the idea that he executed Zay. Later, Maze would contact the Skirata clan and ask for refuge on Mandalore. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.